Right now, as you're watching this video, China just added more renewable energy to their grid in the first five months of this year than America added from all sources in 2024. So think about that for a second. While we're debating permits for transmission lines that take 20 years to build, Beijing is constructing AI infrastructure that could determine who controls the next century. So DeepSeek didn't just shook Silicon Valley. It revealed something really terrifying. China has been playing a completely different game. Here's the real reasons nobody's asking when China builds 80 times more grid compatibility capacity than we do, and their AI models train at a fraction of our cost. Now, are we already behind and what is this going to mean for us? So let's jump into some of this today. So the AI race isn't just about who builds the smartest models, it's also about who can power them. That's one of the big arms races right now is power. What we're seeing is power and scale, right? We're seeing power and scale to deploy them faster. So Trump just announced a 92 plus billion dollar commitment, calling the America's new space race moment, right? And this is a big time for us because the, right now the big space race that started in the 60s with Kennedy is now we're seeing with us right now to see the race for AI. And that's part of the reason why the market is pumping so much money into AI right now. So, but here's the things that the headlines are missing about China's real advantage that could take everything. So let's jump into some of these articles and then I've got some other great information for you here. So as we go into these articles here, um, um, you're going to see that according to this, and this was actually before the release of ChatGPT's uh, new open source model, but the top four open source AI models are all from Chinese labs. So it was just three, like, and this was just a few weeks ago, right? This, this tweet's from a couple, uh, I still call it a tweet, this post on X from a couple of weeks ago, but it was just three weeks ago that Kimi K2 was released and it's gaining traction. So let that sink in, right? So these have already started to move up, but some of the largest of the top ones, four of them are from China, right? And you can actually see this listed here where we see so many of these are listed into China. Now, why does this matter to us, right? Is we're starting to see this. And so there's definitely a battle brewing here. So how China is girding for an AI battle with the US. And this was from the Wall Street Journal. As Washington tries to limit China's progress, Beijing is spending more time to build AI that doesn't rely on US technology. And that's definitely what we're seeing here, right? So China is definitely ramping up their, L estimate, their efforts to build a domestic article artificial intelligence ecosystem that can function without Western technologies. And we're gonna kind of go through some of this here. Washington has been trying to slow China's AI progress through export controls, meaning they're trying to limit the number of H100s and B200s that they can get, right? And so there's really a whole bunch of restrictions around this. So many of the initiatives were on display in an AI conference that ended this week in Shanghai, which China authorities used to showcase for products free of US technology. Um, one startup, StepFun, touted a new AI model that it will require less computing power and memory than other systems. But it won't even matter because China is running circles around the US right now for how much energy they're building. Um, but so the conference goes on to talk about this, but China's, uh, where was the other part that I wanted to push onto here? So victory in the global AI race carries high stakes. AI is expected to upend ex, uh, ec economics and militaries and leadership in the sector is seen as critical to future growth. The U.S. maintains its early lead with Silicon Valley home to the most popular AI models and the most powerful chips. And this is where we've definitely seen NVIDIA be selling the shovels during the gold rush, right? But China also, China also clearly wants U.S. technologies. Access to advanced chips has been a priority for Chinese negotiators and trade talks. Wall Street Journal's reported uh, sale of NVIDIA H20 chips. So the H20 chip is a neutered chip that the U.S. is allowed to sell to China because it's already downgraded. So it's trying to give them not as much advantage, right? And so that's uh, one of the reasons that they were doing. And this was a little bit of a reversal, but it was giving them them something this was to give them a bone to chew on now there's a lot of other things happening here so we see that on this one two people were arrested for smuggling ai chips into china nvidia says no to kill switches and kind of talk about this the u.s department of justice said on tuesday that two chinese nationals have been arrested for their alleged involvement in illegally shipping tens of millions of dollars worth of high performance chips and because of tens of millions of dollars it probably means it was like 10. I'm kidding. That's a joke, right? H100s are extremely expensive, though. They usually go between thirty to forty thousand, and the B2 uh, B200s go for about the same price for thirty to forty thousand per. So even if they were smuggling ten of these, I don't know that number off the top of my head, but you know, it's uh, maybe a thousand of these chips, right? But the DOG said that they were arrested in California on August 2nd and charged with violation of Export Control Reform Act. They were making some money here where they weren't supposed to, right? But um, this shows that how desperate they are to try to get caught up, right? 
Uh, one potential solution to curbs chip smuggling has been suggested by the U.S. government in recent days to implement tracking technologies into chips. So they want to be able to put tracking into them so they can know every time they come online. And obviously, NVIDIA is saying that's a no-go for all kinds of reasons. But they're also suggesting that um, there's a lot of suggestions by the government that there's a kill switch built into these, and NVIDIA is also saying that's also not true. But it's saying but uh, NVIDIA says GPUs do not include a kill switch. Uh, but NVIDIA has been designing processes for 30 years. Embedding backdoors and kill switches and chips would be a gift to hackers and hostile actors, right? So definitely not a good idea. I'm certainly nowhere a fan of this. I understand the U.S. needs to stay competitive and that we need to stay ahead in this race without a question. But this is a bad idea. Um, so this is the next one. So China is claiming that NVIDIA built a backdoor, but that was, you kind of saw the spoiler alert over on the other article that their NVIDIA is, is adamant saying that they did not do this, right? So that they haven't done it. Um, so there was this initial claim and, um, but they, but NVIDIA came back and said, absolutely they would not do it. They said it would take them nine months for restart factor to ship the H20 client. So they're, they're building these H20s, but it's going to take them a little bit of time to get these up and running. Now, in the latest, uh, China's latest AI model, this is one that's really started to kind of rattle things. China's latest AI model claims to be even cheaper to use than Deep Seek. Deep Seek. So startup Z.AI, formerly known as uh, Zipu, announced Monday uh, that its new GLM 4.5 AI model will cost less than DeepSeek to use. Like DeepSeek, the new model is also open source and can be downloaded for free. Uh, it's about half the size of the, of the DeepSeek model, but GLM 4.5 only needs eight NVIDIA 820 chips to operate. So this is still not consumer grade. So most people I'm talking to out here, you know, I have a, a playlist on my channel here where I teach you how to uh, build your own uh, DIY AIPCs here at Startup Hack. We love to build software for people. And so we actually, on almost every one of our projects right now, we're building out a lot of AI projects. So I'm really into building uh, hardware that can be run at a consumer grade cost where you can get a really good AIPC for $1,000 to $2,000 and, and do a lot of really amazing things. We get free code samples on the channel here. So make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, make sure you leave a comment. It's the best compliment you can give me is to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. But so this GLM 4.5 is definitely not something that's gonna run on consumer grade hardware. To run, um, to run even the, the base of this, you need at least an H100, and in uh, consumer grade cards, you need at least, uh, I think four, if I remember correctly, uh, of the, the others to run this. We could look it up. Um, but Chinese companies are making, and, and Chinese companies are working to make these more efficient, right? And we saw DeepSeek rattle the whole, the whole world, right? And it even shook the stock market. This became so important. And so, you know, we definitely see that this is where the arms race is getting really interesting. So reach out, because we'd love to help with your company. And check out startuphack.com slash Spencer, and here's some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full full-time commitment, perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.